Some people will say you do not have to do water changes on a freshwater aquarium, but actually performing regular water changes on your aquarium adds so many benefits to the fish and the plants. So what are those benefits? Hi, I'm Russ and I've been in the aquarium hobby now for over 40 years and I perform weekly water changes on most of my aquariums. The only aquarium I don't do a water change on is the shrimp tank. I only perform one on that when it is necessary. Some tanks get 10%, but this one, the Rainbow Fish Aquarium, this actually gets 40% water change per week. And in this video, we'll do the water change in here and we'll also discuss the benefits of doing such a large water change. So start off, we will start the water change. I do my water changes with a hose pipe. On the end of the hose pipe there is a filter intake cover that just helps stop any fish getting sucked into the hose pipe. This is connected to a tap in my bathroom. So I will send some water through the hose so we can start the siphon process. So the water is now being removed from this tank. I have it set so it always drops to this level. That helps me then when I'm putting the buffers in later on. So one of the benefits of doing water changes every single week? Well, it removes toxins from the water. It helps remove any uneaten food. It also helps create a healthier environment for your fish and also for your plants. Whilst the water is being removed, I clean my glass. I only ever clean the front of the glass. And I do this to remove any detritus that's forming on the glass, any algae forming on the glass. And that then also gets extracted during the water removal process. I also like to just get into the plants, just bring out any detritus, any fish poop that's lodged in there just a great way of removing that so it doesn't all get caught up in the filter so it doesn't form ammonia spikes and I do this regularly once a week. Performing water changes will help stabilize the pH, the hardness of your water, it adds oxygen even though the plants will add oxygen, it's always good to change the water to just give them that nice fresh water running through. Rainbow fish predominantly live in rivers and lakes, so they're constantly having a renewal of fresh water through rains. So it's always good to change your water in my opinion. It's always good to perform water tests, especially on the water that you add into the aquarium. Water companies can add things to your water regularly, so it's always good practice just to test your water from source once a month. I'm quite lucky here because my water is extremely soft, but I still test it regularly just to make sure that when I'm adding buffers later on, I know just the amount to add. Changing the water will add essential minerals back to the aquarium. Minerals are essential for a healthy aquarium, not just for the fish, but also for the plants too. As the water is being removed, it's also removing excess nutrients. So it aids in helping reduce the lack of algae growth. Excess nutrients in the water can cause massive algae blooms. So doing a regular water change will help just reduce that. It's also a good time if you have, it's also a good time if you have internal filters to collect a bucket of water so you can clean your filter media. If you have canister filters and you clean them on a regular basis of like once a month, water changes are a great way of just getting that water together in a bucket so your filter media can be cleaned efficiently. I like to get in at this time and remove any 
any of the plant leaves that are dying off because obviously then it disturbs again it disturbs the detritus that's forming in the plants and it's always good to extract them during the water change or water removal process adding fresh water to your aquarium your fish will absolutely love it and we will see later on once we start adding water back into this tank you will notice how the rainbow fish will colour up and in some species it actually induces spawning but you will see the colours enhance on these fish it's always a good indication that you're doing the right thing doing a water change over time trace elements that are essential for a healthy aquarium do deplete so regular water changes just adds those minerals back into the aquarium now as i said earlier on my water is classed as extremely soft it's zero kh it's zero gh so i do add a buffer so when i add the buffer i always take a little bit of tank water and because i take the same amount of water out of this aquarium every single week i kind of know how much buffer to add back to the aquarium this is a way of adding those essential minerals back into the aquarium that keep your fish happy and your plants healthy a healthy aquarium is a happy aquarium just let them dissolve and we'll add that into the water when we start replenishing the aquarium providing healthy water conditions to your aquarium helps reduce stress in your fish which then helps prevent disease and parasites forming. So there's another benefit for doing regular weekly water changes. You will also notice a change in your fish behavior. Cleaner water makes a more active fish. A more active fish is a more happy fish. Now when I'm extracting water from the aquarium, I don't use a gravel vac. I don't use a gravel vac for one reason the live plants the live plants in my opinion are my gravel vac if i start using a gravel vac it's just going to suck up the aqua soil to the surface which is not what i want you can go around and just ruffle up the gravel a little bit which will remove a little bit of detritus you don't have to do that every week i kind of do that about once a month now, as you can see, the water is down to the level which I take it on a weekly basis. Now is the time where I will add my buffers. I also add a water conditioner. Currently, I'm using NT Labs Optimus. This removes any metals from the water. It's a dechlorinator. It also detoxifies any ammonia. But doing a water change, it just removes any nitrates from the water, excess nitrates. Something that yes, your plants will feed on some of the nitrates, but over time, those nitrate levels will get too high. And the fish, well, they just won't like it. So to me, regular water changes are definitely the way to go. I now add the buffers. The water condition is in. And now is where I also add some plant fertilizer. So I will turn the tap on and we'll start adding the water slowly. As you see, as the water is now entering the tank, all the fish have come around to the fresh water. The colours of the Bose Marnie are popping, the Seuss coloured up. All the fish love the fresh water entering the aquarium. Some species of fish love the cold water change that much that it actually induces spawning. And this is because the fish sense the water temperature change. 
And what that does is make them believe that there's a change in season. That makes them start the spawning behavior. Another benefit of doing weekly water changes, especially if you do a water change during a thunder and lightning storm, the change in air pressure, the change of water, as I say, induces spawning behavior on quite a lot of species of fish. It's definitely beneficial to try and get a routine going weekly with your maintenance, where your water changes can be part of that routine. Regular maintenance, regular water changes can guarantee long-term success in your Rainbow Fish Aquarium. So what about your water change routine? Do you perform them weekly, fortnightly? Do you not perform them at all? Some people believe that water changes aren't necessary, whereas some people believe that it's lazy fish keeping. What's your belief? Please share your experience in the comments. As you well know, I believe the water changes are certainly more beneficial to your aquarium than not doing them. I believe that my fish are healthier and I also believe that my plants are healthier. I've looked at other tanks with people that don't perform water changes and I'll be honest, the plants don't really look that healthy. But that's my personal opinion. What do you believe? If you have found this video beneficial today, please do click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you press the notification button, it will tell you every time I release a video. We also do four weekly live streams called Fish Keeper Club. If you haven't joined Fish Keeper Club, certainly do. We stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 8 p.m. BST and Saturday afternoon from 2 p.m. where I perform water changes and then we sit down and we help other people out in the aquarium hobby that are struggling with problems. We have a great community that is worldwide now so please do join us on the next stream. Okay, so today I've removed 40% of the water from this aquarium. But I've also removed 40% of the excess nutrients in the water. I've also reduced the nitrates in this water. And when I've added fresh water, I've also added minerals where the fish and the plants will benefit from that. But I've also been able to just inspect over all my equipment. Now, a few weeks ago, when I did a water change, I realized that the inlet valve on my Fluval 307 was leaking. So that was quite a big job to change over. And if you want to know how I did that, then watch this video next. I'll see you there. Until then, take care.